Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from Mobox, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to get this really cool text right on effect in After Effects. Just an FYI, I did learn this from a friend at Lexville on Twitter. You could follow, link down in the description as well as following him, but you should check out his YouTube channel because he makes awesome videos and they're super atmospheric. Also, I guess I should mention that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you want to get started on Skillshare, you could follow the link down in the description for that as well. So anyways, more on that later. Let's jump into the video and show you how to get this effect really quick. So in After Effects here, you can see that we have our composition. If you're downloading this on Patreon, just an FYI, um, we do have a second comp here that has a black layer beneath it because some of the effects that we use squish this. I'm gonna start by creating a new composition, composition new. Uh, 2000 by 2000 is fine. I'm just going to pull out a bit and I'm going to select the text button and I'm just gonna drag a rectangle and I have a quote off screen that I'm gonna copy and just paste in. I'm gonna press Y on the keyboard and center up this anchor point and then using the align tool, just align it into the center of the composition. If you don't have the align tool, you can go to windows align and you'll find it there. I'm just gonna hit S on the keyboard and maybe bring this in a bit. And it's really simple. So under your text layer, under text, you'll see an animate button. There are so many things that you could do in After Effects with this animate tool, but we're gonna be using the character value effect. So you'll see it creates a new animation one subfolder and a range selector as well as character ranges. So let me just show you what this does. You'll see a range selector move as I adjust the offset. So the character value is set to zero, meaning all the characters will be what they're supposed to be. But if I adjust this, they will change. So that's pretty cool. So you can set this to be, you know, any icon that you want. The one that I want is character code 45. And so I'm just going to pull the offset back to zero. Go to like one second, set a keyframe. Go to like, I don't know, seven seconds, set this to 100. So that's how we get that main portion of this effect. The other thing that we are going to do is we're going to make this stuff pop up. So we can add another range selector and do kind of the same thing we just did. But um, something else that I find useful is CC line sweep. So in your effects and presets, if you just search for line or line sweep, you could drag this onto the text. And let me show you what this does. Again, it's a little bit hard to tell, but it basically sweeps line by line as well. And this works on images, not just text. Um, so you'll notice that it doesn't actually line up perfectly with the text. So it's cutting this line in half. Um, totally fine, I think, for what we're trying to do. Doesn't, isn't really a problem. But one thing I can do is I can change the angle. So like 325. Come to the start, hit completion at 100%, and then maybe come down to like three seconds and bring this down to zero. Hit you on the keyboard and selecting both of my keyframes for the completion, I'm going to add a little bit of motion using my motion um, script from outmograph.com. You should def definitely go check that out. It's great, they don't sponsor this video, but it's a great tool. But if you don't have that, you can see this is the graph editor. That's the, the graph that I'm using. So before we jump in and show you how to do the rest of the effects overlaid on this, like the CRT and the VCR effect, let's just have a quick word from our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Make 2020 the year that you learn new skills and deepen existing passions. What you find just might surprise you and inspire you. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life. You can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. Whether it's design, animation, or 3D modeling, there's a class for you. Like this great text animation course from Jake Barnett. Anything you want to learn, you can do so on Skillshare. Not to mention, it's very affordable, especially when compared to expensive in-person classes and workshops at less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 500 people to follow the link down in the description will get two months of premium membership for free so you can explore your creativity. Thanks for Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the tutorial. So let's now start the second half of the video, which is getting that CRT VCR look. So first thing I'm gonna do is have to create a layer, new solid, and I'm gonna need a black background. So I'm just gonna make sure that's black, hit okay, hit okay, drag that underneath. Create a layer, new adjustment layer. So we're gonna be stacking a bunch of effects onto this adjustment layer. A lot of effects that I use all of the time and are things that you probably are sick and tired of seeing me use, but they're super cool and this is the effects that I like. So I'm gonna start with Venetian blinds. 
and I'm gonna drag that onto my adjustment layer. So let's see, Venetian blinds totally screwed this up. Um, hit you on the keyboard. I don't need any of these transitions. Um, not, not needed at all. What I do need is to adjust the width here and I can increase the width here and then add a little bit of feather. And this gets starts us with a really good VCR effect. I'm now gonna look for an effect called noise. Drag that on, set this to like eight. Search for something called lens. I think it's CC lens. I'm gonna put this between Venetian blinds and noise. And you can see instantly we start messing this thing up. But I basically just want it to have a negative convergence. So you get that bow effect and then I could just increase the size if I need to make it larger. And now I can add an effect called uh, channel blur. And I wanna add this before the noise, but after the, the lens. And I'm just gonna increase the green blurriness just a tad, maybe like, I don't know, 1.8 maybe a little bit more. And then I could even add a glow on top of this layer new solid. I'm sorry, um, I'll just add it to this glow under the noise. We just have a play and see what this looks like. Okay, so this is actually the next day and it's because I forgot to show you a couple things that I think makes this a lot better. The first is I'm going to add a transform property to this text layer. Drag it and drop it on. And on this layer, I am going to hold alt and select the position and add a slight wiggle. So I'm adding an expression wiggle. Remember in the beginning, um, I said, remember your refresh rate, which for me was 29.97. I'm just gonna say 29, not a big deal. That's how many times I want this to wiggle per second. And then I want this to wiggle maybe like 1.5 frames, or I'm sorry, 1.5 pixels, depending on the, your frame size, your composition size, you, want, you might want that to be more, you, want, you might want that to be less. That's gonna help us achieve a little bit more of like a, a shaky CRT look, okay? And the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this text layer, Control D. Of course, I could have totally um, subcomped this and then add the effects on later, but um, in this case, it's just faster for me to do it, to just duplicate this layer with all the effects on it. On this second text layer, just gonna bring those down. I'm gonna look for an effect called directional blur and drop this right on. So one of the things with directional blur that's really cool is you could blur it in a single direction. So in this case, it's blurring up and down, but I think it looks best if I change this to 90 and it blurs sideways. Now that's quite a bit of blurring, but if I hit T on the keyboard when I select that second text and bring it down to like 50%, um, I think that that's good. And you could see when I toggle this, it just makes it glow a little bit more like a CRT glows, which is um, sideways. Of course, you could do it horizontal or you can just not add it, but I really think that these two things together really elevate this effect. Oh, it was actually off. 50% um, was probably fine. So I think that this really just takes it to the next level, both, again, the wiggle with the transform as well as the opacity. I think that looks really awesome. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, check out other videos on this channel. If you want to download this project file, you can on Patreon. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.